In this tutorial, we're going to talk about factors that affect the rate of a reaction. So the first factor is the nature of the reactants. The second that influence the rate of a reaction is the concentration. Whenever you increase the concentration of the reactants, the rate of the reaction goes up. There's going to be more collisions, and so that's going to just increase the reaction rate. And of course, you've seen this expression, the rate law. Let's say for a first order reaction is K times A. So if you increase the concentration of A, the rate of the reaction will go up. Now, if you're dealing with gases, if you increase the pressure, the rate of the reaction will go up. It's equivalent to increasing the concentration because you're going to have more molecular collisions. Now the third area is for solids, and that is surface area. For a solid, only the atoms on the surface of the solid can participate in the chemical reaction. The ones in the interior of the solid are not exposed to the other reactants, so they can't react. So for solids, if you can increase the surface area, you can increase the rate of the reaction. Now the fourth area is adding a catalyst. Whenever you add a catalyst to the reaction, a catalyst lowers the activation energy. And by lowering the activation energy, you can increase the rate constant K. And K affects the rate of the reaction. So when K goes up, the rate of a reaction goes up. So a catalyst, it lowers the activation energy by giving the system an alternative pathway. The fifth area is temperature. Everything goes faster when you increase the temperature. Whenever you raise the temperature, the rate constant increases, and therefore the rate of the entire reaction goes up. So at high temperatures, the molecules are moving faster, and so there's going to be more collisions, which leads to a, a greater a reaction rate. And also, the molecules have more energy, so they can collide with sufficient energy to break chemical bonds and form new ones. Now consider this reaction. Let's say that hydroxide reacts with the tribromide ion to produce the hypobromide ion and two bromide ions plus H2O. And let's say that all of this is dissolved in water. Now what's going to happen if we increase the tribromide ion concentration. What's going to happen to the rate constant and the rate of the reaction? Now the rate of the reaction depends on the rate constant and the concentration of the reactants. The rate constant depends on the activation energy and the temperature. So if you increase the concentration of one of the reactants, the rate will increase, but it won't affect the rate constant K. The reaction will proceed faster. Now let's say if we increase the volume by adding water. What's going to happen in this case? Adding water will not affect the rate constant K, but it will affect the rate of the reaction. As you increase the volume, the concentration of the reactants decreases, and so the rate will decrease as well. Now what if we increase the temperature? What's going to happen? If we increase the temperature, that's going to increase the rate constant K, which is dependent on temperature. And so the rate is going to increase. Now what if we decrease the volume by evaporating water, or allowing water to evaporate? If you decrease the volume, the concentration of the reactants will go up, and so the rate of the chemical reaction will go up. Now finally, what if we decrease the pH of the solution? What's going to happen? Will the rate increase or decrease? Now if you decrease the pH of the solution, the solution is becoming more acidic, so you're increasing the H plus concentration. Now as you add acid to the solution, the acid will react with hydroxide to produce water. And so adding H plus 
will decrease the concentration of hydroxide, which is one of the reactants. And if you decrease the concentration of the reactant, the rate is going to decrease. So if you decrease the pH and make it more acidic, you're going to decrease the hydroxide concentration, and that's going to slow it down. However, the opposite is also true. Let's say if you increase the pH. That means the solution is becoming more basic, which means the concentration of the hydroxide ions is going up. And so if the concentration of the reactants go up, then in this reaction, the rate will increase. So when you're dealing with pH changes, think of how it affects the H plus and the OH minus uh, concentration. And if they're part of the reaction, then that's going to affect the rate of the reaction.